What's up, everybody? Today on Tools in Action, we're talking Wicked Tree Gear. What is Wicked Tree Gear, Eric? Wicked Tree Gear is a company out of Iowa, a guy who's an avid hunter, and he actually developed this. Um, you know, he's tired of all the plastic junk out there, so he decided to build a better mousetrap, basically. This is a mousetrap? Well. I got some mice. How does it catch them? Oh, Decapitates? Oh, yeah. Run after them, whip them. You can go really? Oh, That's yeah. what it's for? Cut their head off. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hanging no, but yeah, you're tired of just the plastic stuff being out there. You know, and when you're out there and you got to cut branches or kind of just hack at them, you know, the plastic stuff doesn't hold up. Plus, so, it's dangerous because that those plastic ones might break on you. Yeah, you'll see those blades bust. You know, this one, you know, these, you know, these are, you know, nice solid blades. But the big thing of it is, he's got a nice cast aluminum around here with a nice rubberized grip, and it actually fits nice in your hand. It's and it a feels nice feeling. solid. It yeah, feels, exactly. I mean, it's light. It's like amazingly light. But it feels like, you know, like a high-end kind of tool to me. It is, exactly. You know, nice rubber overmold right here, and then here it's, you know, all open, so we're just going to give you the... And when you're out there, you know, you don't want something that breaks apart. You want something... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You want something that's going to last, that you don't have to worry about, so, you know, that's, that's cool. Allen key Our... changes a blade, looks like. It does. Replaceable blades, hardened steel. It's got basically, if you're familiar with the fastback knife, Push button where it locks it into place, and once it's locked. Well, but in, it's not loose like the fastback. No, it's not loose. You can't you can't whip it open with one hand. That'd be cool. But I'm just saying. So you know, and I know this is really kind of developed. It, you know, he's a hunter. It seems like that's kind of what's geared at. But you know, I think an arborist the guy in the tree. This would be nice. So when you're climbing up the tree, if you want to just hack at a couple of the branches so you can get up there easier. I think a landscaper, maybe a guy who's even mowing, tired of hitting his head on a low branch, just cut that thing off. Or even a rancher or something along that line when you're out. You I think know? arborists would be huge. Yeah. I mean, if they want a good tool. Yeah. I always remember, like, I can't remember, I was talking to some landscaper, and uh, he gave me a pair of these. I can't remember, I think they, I want to say they were wolf cutters or trimmers or something. Okay. And it was just like, when you get a quality pruning tool versus just the ones you buy at Home Depot, it's amazing. It's a nice day, he, yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow, these things are awesome. He's like, they better be for $150. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, obviously this isn't one hundred fifty dollars. No, you can pick these up at uh, what is it, Cabela's or Cabela's? Cabela's, uh, Bass Pro, online, Amazon, I'm sure. Wicked know. Tree Gear. Yeah. The cool thing I like is it comes with two different cases, but I actually like this case because it's like a plastic and it just slides in and out of there easily. Yeah. You know, so if you're if you're you're whipping in and out all day long, it's pretty sweet. And then the bottom there, you have a hole for all your. Uh, debris to fall out. More, yeah, and then you can attach this. It's got a little, what are these kind of, like a buckle, or you can attach it right on your belt or on your side. It's got a clip for that too. So overall, I mean, it's cool. The guy's based out of Iowa. It's just, it's cool to see someone take something that was kind of junk out there and turn it into something better. So it says uh, that was my love letter to you. Well, no, it says Wicked oh. Tree Pack purchase. These mm -hmm. are called tree packs. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. Well, it's the Wicked Hands Hawk. WickedTreeGear.com. Mm -hmm. Cool. I, you know what? I got to say, I like the quality of it. Yeah. And how much are they? I think on their site, if you go to the site, they're about 60 bucks. But if you go to like Amazon or Bass Pro, they're about 30 to $40 for these. I think, you know, but I, they're that's worth pretty it. cheap. They're it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah. You know? And obviously you could put only the Wicked Blade in there or you could put different I blades. I believe so. But I haven't taken it apart to look at it to see if it's... Yeah, I mean, why would you, know, you? It's got an aggressive blade on it. It um, does. It's a thicker blade. You're not going to get, like, I don't know. I'm sure you've seen the other ones where if you put pressure on it or it gets behind, those things will bust. They'll actually Well, snap, that's what scares you know? me. When you're really going on them, I don't want one of them to bust and throw up at you. Yeah. With this, it seems like I'm going to be out there cutting and no problem. And it's just so light. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't even need the case, really. You can just throw it in your back pocket yeah. and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Thanks, Eric. No problem. Eric got me one. This is mine now. Yeah. Not every video you see, I'm going to yeah, be wearing exactly. it right here. I'd be like, what? Got a so problem. we got an arborist that we're going to give one to and uh, kind of take it from there. Cool. And so. I know uh, we're actually, arborists are crazy, like, uh, tree guys. Yeah, and arborists is, yeah. Well, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, they actually, they love this kind of stuff. Oh, they and do. And they're all about, you know, when you cut off a branch, you got to make the three cut process. You got to do this. You got to do that. When I go to cut a tree down, man, I just whip out a saw and whip it down. But now I understand why they don't do that, because I cut off a branch the other day and it ripped all my bark off. Like, oh, no, oh, the tree's no. going to die now. <laughs> so that's why you need an arborist. Yeah, exactly. You know who was an arborist? At GIE, Carrie, the Husqvarna guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was an ex-Marine. He told us a lot. Uh, and he Very actually, nice guy. Yeah, he worked for Husqvarna, and he's their chainsaw guy. But he's been an arborist for like 30 years. We learned a lot from mm -hmm. him. Good guy. Check Pretty it good. out. Tools in action.